Babe, if you're watching this video, um, I didn't burn my nuts on purpose just to get the firefighters here. <laughs> Yes, I did crack them one by one for this recipe. To save you some time, you can buy unsalted, unshelled pistachios. If you come across a pistachio that's not open, don't use it. These are all the ingredients you're going to need to make my pistachio biscotti. Now we have flour, pistachios, vanilla extract, granulated sugar, eggs, butter, and of course salt and baking powder. Now, my recipe is going to be under the description of this video. Okay, now I've set my stove under broil at the moment, so it's heating up right now. So we'll be toasting our pistachios uh, very lightly so that they can have that beautiful, awesome, toasty taste. Um, and I cannot say how long it will take for your nuts to roast because, I mean, not all stoves are created equal. Now mine's an old, as you can see, electric stove and uh, you'll just have to wait it out and stay right there because it won't take long for you to burn your nuts. In they go! Now watch your nuts. Here I am preaching about, you know, stick around, stay with your nuts. I burnt mine. Oh man. Oh, gotta start back again. Let's go crack some nuts. Babe, when you watch this video, yeah, I burnt the nuts. But I didn't do it on purpose to get the fire department here. Maybe I should. Well, this is not what it's all cracked up to be. Now I gotta crack more nuts. Man. Hmm, wish you could smell this. We need to make a one inch log. One inch thick, I mean. Yeah, 
long log, but no thicker than one inch. Okay. Now you gotta maneuver it like if it was Play-Doh. back in there <laughs> nothing too hard to make really the only crucial part the hardest part is toasting your nuts flat one inch thick log and we'll be cutting them in diagonally so that'll be cool big fella on the parchment paper Ooh, check out these nuts Put in the oven. It's already preheated at 350 and about 35 minutes. Okay, so while I wait for my biscotti to bake, well, I'll finish up my coffee and do a little light reading. I call these kitchen Bibles. I've gotten quite a few. These are not just all of them, but I've got quite a few of these um, at thrift stores or given to me, yard sales. So if by any chance you don't need your kitchen Bibles, well, I'll be more than pleased to give them a good home. I just took this out of the oven. I gotta let it cool for about five minutes before we cut them in diagonal pieces, okay? Now we're gonna cut diagonal pieces and put them back on the sheet and bake them for another five minutes on one side and then five minutes on the other side. Be careful, it's hot. At least one finger thick for your cookie. It helps to use a serrated knife for this because the cookie is still hot inside. Toasted nuts in every bite, guaranteed. I'm gonna put them all on. Back to the oven it goes. For another five minutes. Okay, it's time to flip them. Back it goes for another five minutes. While there's still five minutes left for the cookies to bake, I'm here cutting down chocolate mercs, little white vanilla chocolate marks so I can dip my cookies once they're cool and it complements the toasted pistachios. Totally yummy. Oh wow. Let's go get the cookies. Ooh. Hello. Mmm. The smell. The smell. The smell. Oh. Bonjour, my petits. Nah, you gotta let them cool even though the smell just drives you nuts. <laughs> Get it? Nuts? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see these beautiful cookies. Dipped in white chocolate. Yay! Oh yeah, that'll be delicious.
gonna have one tomorrow morning with my coffee. Bon appétit! How about that? 